What's up guys, Warlock here, and today I'm bringing you a Demon Hunter T16 build, which is going to be absolutely insane for Season 27. So they redid, or fixed I should say, the multi-shot part of Strafe. Before you could only multi-shot in a straight line wherever your mouse was facing, but now they fixed it, multi-shot shoots all over the place. So I'm bringing you guys this video, this is going to be a UE T16 uh, farming build, it's absolutely insane. Insane. So we basically put the new strafe ability cast the last channeled ability, which is going to be multi shot and we are just going to zoom around. So let's just go straight into a T16 and get popping. This build is crazy. All right, pretty simple guys. All we're going to do is hit that, hit the multi shot and we're just going to get zooming. You basically just want to stack as much mobility on here as possible. And as you guys can see, we're not even going to get any any of the pylons. I just want to show you guys how crazy this build is. Look at this. Look how smooth this is. It's so flavor. Look at the flavor. Look at all the shots, baby. Holy crap. We get to keep Dark Heart out a lot. See how multi-shot is just going everywhere now? Oh, we need to kill you. You're dead. Oh my god, the build is actually insane. I mean, it's so smooth to use and so easy. Like, I'm literally holding one button. The only reason I'm pressing other keys is just to have more speed. That's it. Like, that's it. It's just speed. That's all we're doing. Look at that. Oh my god, where do I gotta go? I gotta go this way. This build is just crazy. So if you guys are gonna be playing Demon Hunters next season, <clears throat> this is definitely gonna be the T16 build. To just kind of farm the real question is 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 it gonna be as good as like impale as far as farming because the impale set is gonna be really really insane too with this uh, ability you know being able to strafe and cast impales which we have a video guys i'll link that above so you guys can see that one that was insane but i think this is just gonna be faster for t16 farming it's hitting too many things i mean look at the screen everything is dying and i don't even have to do anything I'm just holding my strafe button. That's it. Holding the strafe button. We're slaying out. If you get more Paragon than I have, then you can probably finish these in like under a minute, maybe a minute and a half, and just kind of in go insane with it. The build is just so crazy. Look at this, man. So if you're playing Demon Hunters next season, this is definitely going to be the build to like farm T16s, get all your other stuff crazy man crazy guys we absolutely crushed that t16 now i'm gonna go over the build really really fast guys you know how we do it in these videos we're just breaking them down again a lot of stuff changes by the end of the ptr and into the next season but i'm gonna go over it very briefly the build is not any different really from an original ue build it's kind of crazy you're using the full uh unholy unhallowed essence set for all your bonuses there combined with captain crimson for the cooldown and resource cost reduction which is insane of course you're running yang's recurve for the multi-shot and then the strafe ability on there for the new season angelic crack and then of course dead man's legacy which is great uh now all speed we got the arm guards for increased speed every time we destroy an object our amulet and rings we are going with squirts necklace for double damage stone of jordan just for more damage and then ring rachel's ring of larceny for the increased movement your gems of course are going to be boon of the hoarder for increased uh movement stone of, uh zaya stone of vengeance which deals more damage the farther they're away which is awesome and then i chose bane of the powerful which is just good against um the elite packs and then uh against like the rift guardian at the end so you can change those out if you want this build has a lot of flexibility when it comes to it uh into the canaius cube guys we got dawn for we want permanent uptime on vengeance which is important then we decided to go with the Visage, so you can have Vengeance have Dark Heart, and I have it with Seethe. So you get the damage reduction, and you get the 10 Hatred per second, which as you guys saw in the gameplay, my Hatred just never goes down, ever. And then of course, Ring for the two sets here. Uh, skills, Multi-Shot, obviously, with Arsenal, because we're all about fire damage. Uh, strafe, Drifting Shadow, we want this for the increased move speed. You want to move as fast as possible, get through, kill everything. Uh, smoke Screen, Special Recipe. For movement, invigoration to keep our discipline up, and shadow glide, uh, shadow power for more move speed. The uh, preparation keeps both of these up as much as possible so we can continue to cast them. 
and then Vengeance Seed, which is great. Uh, now, into the passives, guys, you can change these out as much as you want for more speed. Like, I have Tactical Advantage, so we get increased speed. Call of the Week, which is good for increased damage. Ambush for more damage against people with higher health. And then increase the damage of rockets. Now, you could change those out. If you really wanted to, you could do, for even more speed, you could go in and do Hot Pursuit instead of that. Maybe keep Call of the Week. Maybe swap it out for Archery or something like that. But something like this is really good for just super super speed guys so that is the t16 build for the demon hunter going into season 27 we got pretty much everything that we're going to get out of the uh ptr for this uh season but this build is absolutely crazy so if you're going to be playing demon hunter definitely play the ue multi-shot for t16 farming because that is just insane okay i keep saying insane but it is the build is absolutely crazy it's so fun to use really really easy to use not very hard at all and you just slash through t16 you can use it for bounties anything like that power leveling all that good stuff so t16 ue multi-shot it's going to be one of the top 16 or top 16 top best t16 farming builds in the game for season 27 so if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. The, the channel has been doing so great with all the support from you guys for the Diablo 3 content. So thank you again. And as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.